The history of Corcoran, California, dates back to the early 1900s, when it was a small farming community. The town was founded by Hobart Johnston Whitley, a prominent land developer from Southern California, who took the lead in building Corcoran. The main street of the community is named in his honor. Liking what he saw during a visit to the area in 1905, a blacksmith shop, small store, scattered homes and a lush, untapped vista with herds of grazing wild hogs, horses and steers, Whitley purchased 32,000 acres, 130 square kilometers, to start development. Much like in the San Fernando Valley, Van Nuys and Canoga Park, his creations, Whitley, leveraged his holdings with the support of important Los Angeles businessmen. Initially, the most successful crops were grains, alfalfa and sugar beets. In 1933, more than 12,000 workers went on strike against cotton farmers, one of the largest California agricultural strikes of 1933. Strikers in Corcoran created a tent city that eventually held more than 3,000 people, more than double the town's population. Its lack of water or sewage systems created waves of illness. Streets were staked out in the tent city, and committees of workers governed the camp. The J.G. Boswell Company was established in Corcoran in 1921 and remains a major employer in the city. The first post office opened in 1901. The city of Corcoran was incorporated on August 14, 1914. The city's economy has traditionally been based on agriculture, but the California State Prison, Corcoran, has also been a major employer in the area. The prison was opened in 1988 and is the third largest state prison in California. Today, Corcoran is a small city with a population of about 20,000 people. The city is home to a variety of businesses, schools, and cultural institutions. Corcoran is also a major transportation hub, with two major highways and a regional airport. 